What's going on guys and welcome back to another satisfactory video where today I'm going to be showing you how to use hyper cannons and how to integrate them and what they do in your builds. So let's talk about it. And also remember if you're enjoying the video please remember to like and subscribe for future content. So this right here is a hyper tube. It has one function. If you enter from this side it sends you flying through the air to the destination you would like to get to but you've got to kind of do it in a precise way you need to try and know your your measurements and uh your distance of how long you need it to be to reach the said goal you want to land as you can see i'm now starting to fall in the direction where i want to be going which is here in the desert at the titan builds and then make sure you've got a jetpack obviously uh or you can have a parachute if you wanted to or you can even have full health and land directly on the ground without dying so the first thing you need to do is make sure in tier 4 you have unlocked Hypertube. Obviously, we need this. This is how we build our cannon. Right, so the next thing you need to do is make sure you're in an open area or wherever you would like to put your um, cannon. And as you can see, I put mine here. This is where I did the train explain video. So if you want to learn about trains and a little bit of signals, check them in the top right hand corner or the link in the description will take you directly to the trains video. So what we're going to do is we want to head directly over to the space elevator. So what we're going to do is we're going to put down a support. And before people put in the comment, yes, you can do it a little bit different, but I am going to make it a little bit more basic so people can see what's going on between each support. So I'm going to put this like right here. And we're just going to go along like this for a maybe about 15, say, maybe a bit more. Who knows? Because the further you want to go, the bigger you're going to want your cannon, right? So we're going to go for this length. And what we're going to do next is we're going to come right back to the front. We're going to grab ourselves a hypertube uh, tunnel. And then we're going to place it from here to here. We're not going to place it on this one just yet because we'll get back to that. And then you always want to leave a gap. So tunnel, gap, tunnel, all the way along. Just like that. Now we've got that. What we want to do is on the connected tunnel is put a hypertube entrance at the beginning of each one, just like this. And then also place one on this one. Next, grab yourself a hypertube tunnel again. Come this, bring this along, go by three spaces, go up by two, change your mode to noodle by pressing R, and then rotate it backward with your mouse wheel. So rotate forward on your mouse wheel and have that go up like that. So now you've got a bit of a shoot in the direction you want to go. Next thing you want to do is connect all the power poles to each entrance. And for the sake of this video, as you can see, I'm in creative mode. And I just want to do this all the way along until they're all powered. And there we go. That is our hypertube ready for us to launch. So what we're going to do is with, there's three things you need to test. You need to test just by running in, then a blade runner test, and then a slide test. Okay. There's three different things because they all have three different distances especially the last one so we're going to do our first test just by running in make sure you've got a jetpack a parachute or you're at full health because if you're at full health and you land from a very very high distance you will not die you will have like half a bar left so next what we're going to do is we're going to go in with just our jetpack on nothing else and we're just going to run directly into it so as you can see, I'm not going to touch anything, and we're just going to see where we're going to land. And if I'm not mistaken, we're going to land around these two iron nodes down here. And boom. Right here. The next one we're going to try is with the Blade Runners equipped. The Blade Runners obviously give us a little bit of speed. And what we're going to do is we're just going to run directly in there. I'm not going to touch anything on the mouse and keyboard. And you can see the distance we're going to go. So this one won't get us as... Um, a four, but it's still going to be around the same area. As you can see, we're just going to land just below this rock right here. So this option is have your Blade Runners equipped, and what you're going to do is before you enter the actual hypertube, slide and then jump into the hypertube entrance. That will allow you to go exceptionally further than what we have done before. So let's try that. So we're going to run directly in, slide and jump. This time, it should take us over to at least top of the waterfall. Um, so I'm not touching anything, not diverting, and not pushing forward or anything. And you can see we're just about to land at top of the waterfall-ish. 
as you can see, I have I do have God Mode on, so I'm, I'm not going to take any damage. But you can see that's exceptionally a lot further than we did before. The next one we're going to do is we're going to do a diagonal one. So if you wanted to go take it more of a um, like a northwest or a northeast approach. Uh, but this time we're going to do this. We're going to build by two across uh exactly the same way we did last time now that we've done that one grab yourself a hyper tube and just connect that up there as you can see i do this one this way so i can make it just a little bit easier for myself because on the other one it will kind of snap a little bit weird so we're just going to build this all the way down here as well at the end make sure we do what we did before make sure it's on noodle and go up give us a little the bit of the flick and then the hyper tube entrance on every second one then get them all powered then get ready to a test, and we're going to do the Blade Runner slide. So we're just going to run in, slide, jump. And as you can see, we are flying again, but this time, obviously, at a different angle. Uh, and as you can see, the fog is now starting to appear. I'm going to show you how to get rid of it. So how we get rid of that fog of war is what we do is we go and press the tilde key, which is the left key at side of your number one on your keyboard. It should bring up this small little black box at the bottom, but if you press it twice, this big box will come up. And what you want to do is you want to press R dot fog space zero. So R full stop fog space zero. I will zoom in as far as I can because in 4K, this is extremely, extremely small. So then once you've done that, hit enter. And then that is activated. So once we get in midair now, what you're going to notice is if I do the slide jump again, the fog of war that we've just seen a minute ago has now vanished. And what I'll do is in midair, I will turn it back on so you can see the difference. So I'm going to do it this time, but instead of putting zero, I'm going to press one. And as you can see, the fog is now back. And then I can just turn it back off. R dot fog zero. Fog is gone. But you will see the end of the world and some weird things happening. So there are multiple ways of actually making hyper cannons, but I just wanted to get the basics done because I've been getting a lot of questions and people asking me to do these and it will be coming up in episode 11 of the Let's Play. So if you want to check out my other content, check out Timberborn, which I've just released a video on, or also check out my satisfactory content as well. And thanks for watching and as always, keep smiling.